Hi, good morning and welcome to today's production of Focus. Um, US 30 there is a coast in between two ranges, potential support, 17.075, potential resistance. Actually, I, I'm going to redraw that now because I guess we're probably closer to 17.162 now. And uh, most global markets are uh, kind of sputtering a little bit at these high levels, uh, with the UK 100 slightly recovering from yesterday's um, big sell off there. So, a matter of fact, having a look at that just now, you can see it bounced perfectly off 6774 and uh, actually finished bang on the other potential support slash resistance level at 6832. We are on the wrong side of that this morning, though. Uh, but it's not looking like we're going to start the session um, that negative. Um, but at the time of recording this, this is just before the UK market is about to open. So we'll see how this uh, continues on. Uh, any continuing sell-off, we're looking at 6774 as the next potential support level. If we do still see that pressure on there. So Japan 225 uh, got a little bit shot in the arm again yesterday as dollar yen completely reversed course, uh, but we're battering up against potential resistance at 15828 again. And in fact, we have to talk about um, the dollar because the dollar is just going rampant right across all of the other um, majors. So there was a report that came out yesterday, which was in regards to interest rates in the U.S., and uh, it basically gave the idea that the um, the Fed members were thinking of a, a rate raise, uh, a different tra trajectory as to um, what the uh, what the rest of the the trading community thought. So um, obviously, non-farm payrolls came out quite badly there last Friday, and the mindset being, well, maybe there's not going to be a rate raise before the end of 2014. The report yesterday basically is saying, well, you should re-examine that, that mantra because maybe that's what we're thinking. And you've seen the dollar just go um, smashing up through potential resistance at 105 spot 44 and dollar yen, and it's still going strong right now. So this is multi-year multi, multi -year highs, and um, I actually need to uh, go into a weekly chart to see if we can get another significant level. And in fact, you can be looking at 110 spot 77 as actually the next potential resistance. So we're a long way from there right now. Uh, and obviously it's just early days in this breakout, but um, a very strong uh, move to the upside right there. And quite quite powerful for people who are looking at um, dollar yen. And I'll show you other FX pairs in a second. So looking at um, Korea West Texas, we actually touched 92.85 yesterday, only to bounce back up again, breaking down back below um, $94 this morning. Probably 92.85 is still going to be the next potential support level. Uh, swiftly followed on by 89 if we continue to see that pressure. And obviously that stronger USD must be hurting uh, crude oil West Texas ever so slightly. So gold is a bit of a casualty of this big dollar move. As you can see, quite a negative move there, but we're, we might be bouncing off the bottom of this trend line. If the trend line is still in place right now. So we talked about this maybe being a channel formation right here. And uh, we, we are kind of hugging this bottom level right here. Um, but I guess you've got another potential support level around about 1241. And um, we'll just have to see how that, um, how that progresses. Um, through the next couple of sessions, but some very interesting moves. We are obviously on the wrong side of potential support at 12.67 right now, so the pressure is on. So moving on to euro dollar, uh, euro dollar moves uh, ever lower. Obviously, a stronger USD, but obviously lots of reasons to sell the euro right now. Uh, we're halfway to the next potential support, one spot 27.46, uh, uh, and you know obviously well in the middle of two ranges. There's not really much else to talk about, but lots of other pressure. Lots and lots of pressure on your dollar. Uh, very strong dollar story, very negative euro story. Um, and obviously that trend is quite quite significant. And then Scottish independence is not doing cable any favor, any favors right now. Um, we're not that far away from one spot 60, uh, 0, 09. We've talked about this being the, uh, the next potential um, support level. Uh, but in reality, I'm, I'm sure we could probably come up with something a little bit, a little bit more concrete. Um, looking at these levels of potential support along the bottom there, you could say 59.17 is probably more accurate. Um, I'm going to leave 60.09. Obviously, it's quite close to, uh, to, to one spot 60 full stop, so a psychological round number can be quite useful. And uh, we'll see how that pans out. So economic data-wise, is quite a, a, an amount of UK data before 9.30 UK time. Um, you've got industrial production and trade balance. And then if we fast forward on to Wednesday, you've got crude oil inventories. And that's pretty much it. So keep your eye on the chart forum as ever for uh, technical trade setups from our global analyst team. Make insights part of your layout and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.